Are you a working mom feeling guilty when you're away from your kids at your job and then feeling shame when you leave work to pick them up? If you feel like you can't catch a break, you're not alone. Plenty of working moms feel that crushing guilt, but some learn to handle the judgment or avoid it altogether, and they're sharing their perspective with us today. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. We want to help you feel less stressed and be that tribe of girlfriends you wish you had alongside you to cheer you on every day. I didn't feel guilt when I worked two days a week, but suddenly, when I started a side business to help pay the bills and it took over my life, I was racked with shame every time I had to ignore the kids or the house to get work done. It took me a long time to move past that distress, and I wish I had heard some of the insights from the working moms in this video, whose experience ranges from crying every day to shrugging it off and everything in between. Do you feel guilt? Because a lot of working moms feel guilt. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially, you know, some days more than others. I work in the city. It's very full time. I travel. Especially, you know, if I'm gone for a couple of days, or that's really, really hard. I do feel guilt when my kids say they're sad that I'm going to work the next day. Um, but I also think it's really good for them to see that I work and know that I do something important. I also feel bad that someone else has to drop my kids off and pick them up on the days I work, and I know they wish it was me. I can only take so much time off or take time away from work. When I do things, I kind of have to fit it in in between those times that my work schedule allows, which wouldn't be the case if I didn't work at all. It's very hard. Um, coming home after working all day and him coming home from school, he has still a lot of energy and wants to do stuff. And mom, play with me. And at times I just want to sit down and just veg. Sorry, hon, I'm going to have to miss a game because you've already had 20 and I've been at, you know, maybe 18 of them. Um, but uh, yeah, I try even with the track meets, you know, most of them were after school. So unfortunately I couldn't go see them. I feel frustrated when my kids have activities and I'm not around. So, and I feel guilty. Guilt and, you know, just the misery and, uh, you know, just not being there when she needed me was really difficult. That was a really hard day. Leaving, leaving my little baby at daycare was very, very hard. Not really. I used to when my son was first born, but no, I don't. I think women, particularly if you are working from home, if you're an entrepreneur working part-time, it's very hard to lay out money or invest in your career. And so for me, the idea of paying this babysitter to do the things that I used to do, that was what was hard. Like, I, sh I shouldn't pay someone to do that, I should do that. I'm not making enough money in my career to pay someone. Um, and that, that was the harder leap for me than the emotional leap. What doesn't get done today, it'll get done tomorrow. That's it, yeah, you find the time. Now that you know other moms are feeling as frustrated as you are and that it will get better, you've got more strength to face the struggle day in and day out. And I want to help by giving you more strategies from other working moms in my next video where you get the courage to conquer your challenges. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to boost your mojo as you relate to the successes and definitely the failures of the Working Mom Warriors who spill the beans so we can all benefit.